When you're shooting prone from a bipod, the bipod does more than just hold the rifle up. You want to, if you can, I like to dig it in. Some shooting mats will have a rib to press the bipod into. I like to go in the dirt. Can't be good old soft dirt. Dig the, dig the bipod in, okay? You want to load the bipod, press forward on it. I like to take these three fingers and pull in the rifle into my shoulder as I'm leaning into the bipod pressing, okay? You want to get squarely behind the gun for natural point of aim. You'll see some guys off to this side, the gun tends to bounce to the right on them on a right-handed shooter um, when they do that. You're better off to be square behind the gun. Try to have that recoil coming straight down, straight down your right leg for a right-handed shooter. The lower you can get, the better. But as some of us get older, we get less flexible, get heavier, you may need a longer bipod. Also, ideal prone, you have your feet flat out, your ankles pressed down to the ground, which is great if you're that flexible. But if you're not that flexible, don't force yourself to do that at the point of giving yourself tremors. Put those feet straight back, relax them. You can shoot very well like that. But get square behind the gun, press into the bipod, pull the gun into the shoulder, control that recoil. There's been a lot of information, not totally untrue, but taken out of context about letting guns free recoil. And that generally came from bench rest community, shooting very small cartridges and very heavy guns. That will not work for a gun chamber for a substantial cartridge that you light enough for you to carry around. There's too much recoil. You need to control the gun. Load that bipod, pull it into your shoulder, control the gun.